from the most murderous snakes on the planet to a species of serpent so rare there are only 18 left in the world. Here are the 10 most dangerous and venomous snakes of all time. Number 10. Yellow-Bellied Sea Snake The yellow-bellied sea snake is one of the rarest venomous snakes in the world. It's an absolute monster to behold, and its yellow belly instantly screams, run away! They have a very wide range, being found from Peru to Australia and New Zealand to Hawaii. It's actually the only sea snake in the world that has arrived at the Hawaiian Islands. It's also only one of two sea snakes that has ever made its way to New Zealand. But the accolades don't stop there. The yellow-bellied sea snake is the most aquatic snake in the world. It has never in the history of evolution developed the ability to survive on land. This is a powerhouse reptile that can grow to be up to 34 inches long, which is just about 3 feet. As for the danger factor, the yellow-bellied sea snake is at the top of the food chain. It has no natural predators and is super venomous. The toxin is able to damage your skeletal muscle, it can inflict paralysis, and if left untreated you can die. But despite how dangerous the yellow-bellied sea snake is, it's such a rare animal that not a single death has ever been reported in Australia. Number 9. West African Carpet Viper The West African Carpet Viper is a savannah species of snake that you will never want to meet. According to the African Snake Bite Institute, it's classified as very dangerous, and it primarily lives in a wide stretch of land from Central Africa to the coast of West Africa, but it literally only lives in the savannah. You won't run into this snake anywhere in the jungle, but if you stand in the wrong place at night in the middle of the desert, you might find yourself bitten and in severe pain. An unexpected bite from the West African Carpet Viper can cause swelling, blistering and massive tissue damage. Anti-venom is needed, and if not administered, the bites could be fatal. This snake has evolved over time to blend in perfectly with the rocks and dirt of its savannah environment. As a nocturnal ambush predator, it can typically be found coiled in a striking position while waiting for something to eat. And unfortunately for humans, this snake has adapted to urban areas and can often be found hunting near rural dwellings in West Africa. Number 8. Egyptian Cobra the Egyptian cobra is another mean snake that you better hope never comes knocking on your door. Of course, the Egyptian cobra would never knock on your door. It would simply slither under the door and then bite you in the leg. That's just how mean this snake is. It's one of the rarer species of cobra and is not isolated strictly in Egypt. It's found all over East Africa and is seriously venomous. This is also a very robust snake, with dwellings found inside trees and near riverbeds. That means you're basically never safe from the Egyptian Cobra when in its domain. It can be hiding anywhere. And even though the Egyptian Cobra can't spit its venom, it's still incredibly terrifying when it spreads its wide hood in warning. The average length of the Egyptian Cobra is up to around 7 feet, meaning the snake is taller than most humans. Have you ever seen a Cobra in real life? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Number 7. Green and White Ball Python the ball python gets its name from its tendency to curl into a ball and hide its head when it's stressed or scared. Ball pythons are widely favoured as pets because they are among the most popular kinds of pet snakes because they are quite calm and docile. They can get to be about 4 to 5 feet in length and can live up to 30 years if taken care of properly. But of course, going near a ball python in the wild and or owning one as a pet does come with some risks. For instance, while it might not be able to constrict a person to death, it is possible for one of these snakes to harm a human, especially a young child. And, while a bite is unlikely to cause serious injury, the experience can still be traumatising, painful and expensive. They come in all kinds of unique colour variations, some of which are extremely rare and unique. There are now over 4,000 morphs in captivity, ranging from acid, which is the dark brown or black with golden spots, to the banana, the dreamsicle, with white or pink, to the sunset, to green with white, which who knows what it's called. If you could have any coloured snake, what would you choose? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you're new here. We have lots more animal videos coming up. Number 6. The Malayan Crate The Malayan Crate is a slippery bugger. According to Thailand Snakes, about 50% of all bites from this thin serpent result in death. This is even true with the administration of antivenom. If no treatment is given, death is almost always inevitable. Based on the data of toxicity levels of terrestrial snakes, the Malayan crate actually ranks third for toxicity, meaning it's more than just deadly. This snake is also known as the blue crate, and they can be found all over Thailand and other countries in Southeast Asia. They are relatively rare, and they are very distinct. 
The snake has black splotches with white stripes in between, and it typically lives near rice fields and dams. The Malayan crates will move into a rat hole and spend most of its time hunting lizards, frogs and other small animals. If bitten by one of these snakes on your next vacation to Thailand, you better have a good immune system. The first symptom is nausea, followed by vomiting and weakness. Within one hour of being bitten, respiratory failure could occur, leading to death. What's really strange is that the bite itself is sometimes painless. You may not even know you've been bitten until you start to get sick, and before long, your lungs could stop working and your vacation will be over quicker than you thought. Number 5. Coastal Taipan The Coastal Taipan is yet another horribly dangerous snake. This is one you will find mostly around the continent of Australia and even on the island of New Guinea. According to most professional toxicologists, the coastal taipan is either the third or fourth most venomous snake in the world. There is still some speculation on just what constitutes the most venomous. This serpent was first described by a German naturalist in 1867, and since then two subspecies have been recognised. The coastal taipan is considered to be the longest venomous snake in the country of Australia, and adults can grow to be almost 7 feet in length. And even though the inland taipan is more venomous, it's not quite as long. As for the appearance of the snake, it actually looks a lot like a black mamba. The coastal taipan has a relatively slender body, a large head, and big beady black eyes. Number 4. Tiger Snake The tiger snake is definitely the most adorable serpent on the list for today, and that's really saying something. At least, they're adorable when they're small. It's not until they get huge and mean that they become suddenly terrifying. In any case, the tiger snake is so unique that you're unlikely to ever confuse it with a different type of slithering animal. It has black and yellow striping, quite similar to that of a tiger, and it doesn't quite look as dangerous as the other snakes we've talked about today. The total length of the tiger snake varies from anywhere between 3 feet and 6 feet, and their habitat is also just as broad. They live in the marshes, open forests, and even the grasslands of Australia. You can find tiger snakes all over the continent, but most Australians don't even know about the fearsome reputation of the snake. That's because most people will never encounter one. Tiger snakes are extremely rare animals, and even though they look pretty harmless when they're small, compared to a cobra or a coral snake, the tiger snake is extremely aggressive and highly toxic. Not only is it completely unafraid to attack you, but also a single bite could leave you blue and breathless. Number 3. Mojave Green Rattlesnake The Mojave Green Rattlesnake is one of the most terrifying snakes in North America. And while rattlesnakes are of course pretty common, the Mojave Green is a special case. Keep in mind that there are many different types of rattlesnakes, most of them spread throughout the United States and Mexico. The Mojave Green is not the same as the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. They're two totally different animals. The Mojave Green lives in the south of California, all the way to the Sonoran Desert. And what really separates the snake from others is that it kind of looks green. It's not completely green, but it has an extremely light brown colouring that makes it appear greener than other rattlesnakes. In terms of pure danger, you can expect a bite from the Mojave Green Rattlesnake to be just as horrifying as from any other venomous rattlesnakes found in a North American desert. If bitten by one of these fascinating creatures, you will need medical attention immediately. Number 2. The Rarest Snake in the World Let's take a break from all the horror just for one second to check out the rarest snake in the world. The St. Lucia Racer is not especially dangerous, but according to a five-month extensive survey done on the small island of St. Lucia, it turns out there are only 18 of these snakes left on Earth. This is incredible because for 40 years, locals thought the snake had gone extinct. It had been thought for decades that the invasive mongooses had killed off all the St. Lucia Racers. Then, in 1973, a single St. Lucia Racer was found on a small protected islet. Now, scientists believe there are as many as 18 left scattered somewhere on the island, which makes the St. Lucia Racer the rarest snake in the world. Now that the island of St. Lucia is free of the mongooses that had originally killed most of the native reptilian inhabitants, these snakes are making a comeback. They aren't dangerous, but they are the rarest. Number 1. Sea Crates Sea crates are the most dangerous and fascinating animals we're going to be talking about today. There are actually five names that have been given to this one species, which has made identifying the snake extremely confusing. Sea crates are often referred to as banded sea crates, banded sea snakes, or even yellow-lipped sea crates. But the truth is that it's really just a sea crate, and it's easily identifiable by its blue and black pattern of stripes. The term crate refers to a type of venomous snake found primarily in Asia. But there are some significant differences between a sea crate and a normal land snake. The first major difference is in the tail. 
Because sea crates have developed special paddle-like tails for swimming through water, they do look a little different from standard land snakes. But there's also a big difference between sea snakes and sea crates. Sea snakes live in the water and don't spend any of their time on land, whereas sea crates can go from the sea to the land without any problem. Sea crates spend an equal amount of time underwater and slithering along the ground. They're basically land and water hybrids. Oh yes, and they are one of the most lethal creatures in the world. The sea crate has venom 10 times more powerful than a rattlesnake. The only good news is that the sea crate is generally very peaceful and will only attack when cornered. The bad news is that if you're hanging around in Asia, specifically in Southeast Asia, you can't escape the sea crate. They're on land and in the water. Next thing you know, they'll be flying through the skies. All these snakes are pretty rare and unique, but out of all of them, which one do you think is the scariest? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't be shy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for all the newest videos from the channel.